Hi everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to my art journaling channel. So today I'm working in my Dina Wakeley Blue Edition journal. <laughs> working on a denim page um, and I've added some gesso but not right to the edges. I'm going to be using rainbow colours today and of course they're Dina Wakeley paints. Um, so I'm starting off with ruby and then a tangerine lemon and then lime and then ooh, Amsterdam acrylic in a turquoise blue oh I took myself by surprise then oh this one didn't Amsterdam acrylic in permanent red violet light Dina Wakeley Blackberry, Dina Wakeley uh, Fuchsia, and that's it. And then I'm using a stencil and a baby wipe, and I'm just going in and removing a little bit of the paint just to put a bit of pattern onto the background while the paint is still wet. This is one of Dina Wakeley's stencils, and I'm using um, Ocean, and I'm just adding some number stenciling onto the page. Got my trusty cup of tea at the ready. There's not never one of those too far away. I'm um, using a blending tool, and this is a dilution stencil, I think. Um, just adding some white spots onto the page too. So next, I'm using the curly frond stencil, and I'm pretty certain this is Night by Dina Wakeley's uh, paint. Um, and I'm just um, stenciling some of these onto ordinary printer paper. I'm also using this uh, stencil from the Stenciler Mask set called Tropical. I'm stenciling some leaf, leaf shapes using um, uh, Blackberry and Fuchsia and mixing in a little bit of the night as well. Then I'm just uh, fussy cutting these out. As you know, I hate cutting out. It's just, I don't know, I don't enjoy it at all. But, you know, it's got to be done. <laughs> When you want to achieve a certain look, it's you just got to crack on. So I'm cutting out these leaves and then I will be working out where to put them on the page. I like how those two colours have worked together on that leaf that I'm cutting out now. That's a fuchsia and night just blended together in the middle. So then I'm just using um, some tissue paper and I'm just doodling some spots on there using a Posca pen, doing a bit of mark making. Different size dots and circles. And then once that's dry, I've just ripped some pieces up from it and using some gel medium, I'm just sticking these down onto the page. So in a way, really, I'm just treating this denim page as I would any ordinary journal page. So then I'm just extending the dots off the collage onto the page just to make these pieces kind of work and blend in. Looks like that one on the left wasn't quite dry properly, but it doesn't matter. Then I'm just um, auditioning these pieces and seeing where they're going to go where I feel they're going to work best. And then using a glue stick, I'm just going to start sticking these in place. So I think I decided to stick this large one coming down from the top of the page just to balance the page a little bit more. And I think it does work better than it all coming from the bottom. So then once they were dry, I used a white ink pad and a text stamp, stamp, oh my gosh, sorry, stamp, and just added some stamping onto those two leaves at the bottom. And then using a black ink pad, I added some stamping onto the page, onto the background. Here I'm using a white Signo Uniball and I'm just outlining those leaves, just roughly, not being too fussy about where the lines go. And then I'm just adding some more doodling onto this one.
a little bit of shadow down one side. Now this is a Faber Castell pit pen. I've got a set that is in uh, lots of different greys from quite light to quite dark and these are lovely for just adding a little bit of shadow. They're great to smudge, especially on um, ordinary journal pages, less so on this denim. It does work a bit. And then I'm just adding some mark making, some dots as well. I find that these Signo Uniballs, when they're working well, they work really, really well. And they do make a lovely mark and they're lovely and bright. I'm just doing a bit more doodling on the page on some of the spots that I put on the page. Spots and dots and circles and some uh, more mark making as well. This is the bit where I kind of tend to switch off when I'm doing this part, just the mark making and adding more, more patterns onto the background. I don't overthink it. And then this, looking back now, is where I wish that I'd put this quote onto some white rather than just left it like that because, whoa, it disappears completely. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, does it? It's fine. And there we go. There's the finished page. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video.